Hi everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about Laravel 8 session. So how we can set the session, how we can get the session and also we will learn about how to pass the session. Suppose we have right now here two routes basically, one for the get, second for the set. So here I am going to show you. So I have controller, so also you know how to create a controller. If you don't know, you can check out my previous video. So now. Here we have the set session and also we uh, is storing in key and value pair. Okay, so here you can check we have the get session and inside of the here we are uh, we have the ID and we have here ID second ID. So we have two ID basically and is storing these values. In first ID we are storing Laravel 8 news inside inside of the news basically. Okay, second we have the Laravel and and we are storing here Laravel 8 tutorial. So here uh, second routes we have second route this one so get session we have the created in route and here we are calling this controller we have the user controller and we have method which is so so here we are calling basically so let me show you here now check we have this public functions basically here which is so now if anyone hitting then we are getting uh, this value which is get here also get and we are printing here news and laravel something so let's check now i am going to my web.php now i'm going to set basically first of all i'm going to type here set session okay now i'm going to use get session we have the laravel 8 tutorial so now let me show you something might be this is not working news one this one let me show you laravel 8 tutorial okay laravel 8 tutorial let me show you laravel 8 tutorial news this one not working let me check let me print this one only yes this is not working might be let me sit again yes print again sorry yes now this is working so i'm going to type here second one might be some issue is there mm, let me move this one So look we have the laravel 8 news and we have the laravel 8 tutorial okay so both is working fine so what we need to do here again uh, if you want to uh, different videos uh, i can also create different video so hope so this is clear for you okay so we need to set session we need to get session in laravel 8 so this is the basic fundamental basically okay so if you want to brief about the session you can go inside the laravel 8 tutorial here you can check out here so we have the controller we have seen this one we are getting and these values and here we have already seen we can set the session we can get the session okay also we can retry the sessions using all method okay here and determine if uh, also you can check uh, if uh, session key has exist or not something so you can check here using has method if uh, uh, you user users key basically is exist then you can uh, print here yes is true otherwise you can print null something okay so you can check here we have the also have the exist method and we we can also the we can also store the method uh, like this once we have the sessions value we can also put the inside of the database okay so also if you want to how to create in database in laravel have some functionalities to storing the particular sessions value you can check here we have the schema basically right now here so you need to create one table which is a command is below php artisan table uh, session table and also you can migrate the table so once you migrate the table you can just put this code and run your uh, migration command okay so now i am going to here again so let me store so you can store inside of the database also also if you want to push array in session so you can use this particular push push method we have you can check here okay so now 
uh, if you want to delete something you can delete and you want to store something also you can use this method okay and if you want to send a message sometimes you have already seen laravel seven also we can flash a message suppose the form is successfully submitted so you can use this particular flash method okay here you can pass the key and value pair something so here we have the status and we can pass this kind of message and also we can uh, print in view part also okay we have already seen the last videos okay so now these are the some functionality which is provided by the laravel 8 okay and if you have any doubt related to this video and if you want to more brief about this video please let me know so i can create another video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching this channel